Okay, good evening again. And for for tonight's lesson in English 4, we will have a letter to Jane. Okay. So let's go now to a letter to Jane. Okay, let's go now to our discussion about a letter to Jane. This, uh, this letter is all about Jane. Then, what will happen next in this story? So, let's find out in this letter. Leandro's father works as sales supervisor in a multinational company. One of the perks of his job is that he gets to travel around the Philippines and abroad. Leandro misses his father most often, especially when he, se when he has to stay in a far place for long periods of time. One summer day on the last week of April, Leandro's father told him something that made him leap with joy. His father will be taking him his mother and his brother Leonard to Mindoro Occidental. I think it is Occidental Mindoro. Okay, so I will correct that. That is Occidental Mindoro. They will they will spend the rest of the summer vacation together. Leandro could hardly sleep. He has full of excitement. He started preparing all the things he needed for the vacation. The next morning, Leandro went to see his cousin Jane. Oh, Jane, our family is going on vacation, Leandro exclaimed. That's nice. Where are you going? Jane asked. Mi Occidental Mindoro. Dad says, we're going to see a lot of beaches there. He replied. Great. Be sure to describe those beaches to me, said his cousin. And all the other places that you will go to, she added. I promise. Leandro said. So the first day of May finally came and the family got on the plane to Mindoro. The following days and weeks were very special to Leandro. He was having so much fun with his family. Of course, he remembered his promise to his cousin Jane, so he wrote her letter. That it, this is what he wrote. 28 Narrow Street, Barangay Bonifacio, Caloocan City, May 18, 2015 Dear Jane, How are you doing? We are spending the last days of vacation in a wonderful place. I never thought this place was so beautiful. We are in one of the beaches in the island of Pandan, off the coast of Sablayan, Mindoro Occidental. Should I say Occidental Mindoro? Pandan Island's long powdery stretch of wild sand beach rivals that of Boracays. Tourists here enjoy the sun and the sea. There is an air of exclusivity when you are in Pandan Island, although electricity is absent in most parts of the island. The quiet night near the sea removes your stress. The night is best spent on a hammock while staring at the wide expanse of the sky, teeming with stars. As the sun rises over the horizon, try snorkeling on, the, on its shallow waters and tread the waters along with small fishes for that complete calming experience. My parents are planning to trip to see, uh, to see the Apo Reef. This reef is home to hundreds of colorful sea species. They exude the fullness of life beneath the sea. Divers can also see some shipwrecks with coral growths teeming with life. This paradise is really awesome. We hope to come back here next year, hopefully with you and your family, your cousin, 
Leandro. So that is our story about letter to Jane. Now let us answer the following questions. Where did Leandro and his family go? Okay, number two, what was unexpected of the place? Number three, how did he compare it to Boracay? Number four, what interesting thing can be done at night there? And then number five, where will they go before heading home? Okay, now let's go to our vocabulary words. So for, for our vocabulary words, you are going to choose the word from the list that means the same as the underlined word in each sentence. So you are going to write your answers on the line. Okay, number one. So here's, our, here's the list. Here's the words list. We have here calm, selectiveness, display, shore, fantastic, stretch, group, field, like, and walk. Number one, we are spending the last days of vacation in a wonderful place. Okay, number two, we are in one of the beaches in the island of Pandan off the coast of Sablayan, Occidental, Mindoro. So, and the underlying word here is coast. In number one, the underlying word is wonderful. Okay, number two, the underlying word is coast. Okay, number three, tourists enjoy the sun and the sea. The underlined word here is enjoy. Number four, there is an air of exclusivity when you are in the island. So the underlined word here is exclusivity. Again, the underlined word here is exclusivity. Next, number five, the quiet night near the sea removes your stress. So the underlined word here is quiet. Number six, the night is best spent on a hammock while staring at the wide expanse of the sky teeming with stars. So the underlined word here is the underlying word here is expanse. Next, number seven. As the sun rises over the horizon, try snorkeling on its shallow waters and tread the waters along with small fish for that complete calming experience. So the, what is that? The underlying word here is tread. T-R-E-A-D, tread. Number eight, the Apo Reef is home to hundreds of colorful sea species. The underlying word here is species. Number nine, they exude the fullness of life beneath the sea. Again, they exude the fullness of life beneath the sea. And then number 10, divers can also see some shipwrecks with coral growth steaming with life. Again, 
Divers can also see some shipwrecks with coral growths teeming with life. The underlined word here is teeming. Okay, let's go now to our last. We have here, so the lesson of our story is all about appreciating nature. So what is that? Appreciating nature. The best way to appreciate nature is by experiencing it firsthand. Appreciating nature is educational as well as fun. There's a lot of or there's a lot of different fun activities you can do in nature to appreciate it to the full to the fullest. Now you are going to check the box if the sentence talks about appreciating appreciating nature. Binibigyang halaga ang kalikasan. Appreciate. You are going to appreciate the, our nature, our mother nature. Now, you are going to check that. If not, leave it blank. Okay, let us begin. Number one, observe the weeds growing through the cracks in sidewalks. Number two, look at the bugs crawling across the pavement. Number three, pick the flowers along the way. Number four, notice the bees flying around a tree. Okay, number five, catch some birds. Number five, catch some birds. Number six, close your eyes and listen to the different sounds of the birds. Seven, tell stories about what you imagine in the Im images in the clouds. Number eight, find a favorite tree and take a nap under it. Number 9. Go for a walk with your family at night. And last one, number 10. Notice all the shades of color in nature. Again, so our lesson for our story for today, a letter to Jane, is appreciating nature. Okay, so that's our story for today and that's it. So, a letter to Jane.